Germans were applying with devastating logic the first principle of successful modern warfare. The strike of the enemy's air bases to deny him their use, urgent steps had to be taken to protect the defenses of our aerodromes, and for this purpose the RAF regiment was formed. Hello, I'm Group Captain Dutch Holland and I'm currently the Station Commander at Royal Air Force Honington. But back in 2000 and 2001, I was the Operations Officer on Number 2 Squadron, Royal Air Force Regiment. So the squadron had been in Sierra Leone in 2000, supporting the Special Forces Group to do some discreet hostage rescue work. But that had finished. And then in the autumn of 2000, uh, the Permanent Joint Headquarters started to look uh, across all of the three single services as to what they might do to continue to demonstrate Her Majesty's government intent in terms of the freedom and independence of Sierra Leone and the support to the legitimate government of Sierra Leone. The Royal Marines had already been there uh, in the late summer, early autumn time under what became Op Silkman and had conducted a high profile amphibious assault with amphibious ships and helicopters in front of the world's media, demonstrating the reach and the power projection that uh, the British Armed Forces could uh, take. So it was considered that uh, the Royal Navy and the Royal Marines had done their bit, and therefore the question came to the Royal Air Force, what could you do to demonstrate power projection influence the over-the-horizon concept? And so my boss, Squadron Mel Pound wrote a small con-op that suggested that for the cost of a couple of Hercules, we, uh, number two squadron, Royal Air Force Regiment, could conduct a strategic parachute insert uh, into Sierra Leone uh, with uh, you know, lots of profile, uh, lots of media, and demonstrating that we can arrive any place, any time, and do more or less anything. Uh, two of uh, the Hercules from 70 Squadron uh, flew directly to Ascension Island with all of the para elements of the squadron and with only the kit that they were going to actually parachute with. The third aircraft came with a small amount of stores and freight and uh, the non-parachute uh, element of the squadron uh, and that came into Lungi Airfield where I and the rest of that advance party met it. We took the squadron commander to the DZ and showed him uh, the ground and talked him through the detailed plan. We then left the uh, non-para element um, under the command of the squadron warrant officer, Warrant Officer Chris Blackman, and I and uh, other elements of that advance party then flew on to Ascension Island. My name is Dos James and I was fortunate enough back in 2001 to be the C-130 formation lead captain during Op Silkman and the parachute insertion of 2 Squadron RAF Regiment on the 13th of January 2001. On arrival in the Ascension Islands, the final planning bits and pieces were put into place and then the day before the drop, Flight Mark Raymond and his crew on Griffin 3 flew back to Senegal and Dakar to pick up some of the ground party that were acquired in Sierra Leone. They dropped them off there before returning to the Ascension Islands where our very final plans were put into place. And I remember very clearly landing in Ascension Island. Um, the aircraft uh, uh, was taxiing still, the rear ramp came down because it was uh, obviously as normal, very hot in Ascension Island. And I got my first view of number two squadron, Royal Air Force Regiment, the other two Hercules already uh, drawing parachutes, sorting out kits, breaking open live ammunition, distributing rations, and all the other military equipment they would require. Uh, and it was a breathtaking sight. And I remember uh, the aircraft turning off, the ramp being down, coming off uh, the back of the aircraft to spot the second in command, the then uh, uh, Flight Lieutenant Matt Stowers, keen to get uh, a, a, an impression from me whether I thought it was on. And I remember walking off the back of the aircraft and giving him thumbs up that we're on, that it all looks good and that tomorrow number two squadron Royal Air Force Regiment is going to conduct the first strategic parachute insertion into an operational theatre by British forces since Suez.